Did you know diabetes can cause dry eye? And not just one type, both evaporative dry eye and aqueous deficient dry eye. Diabetes damages the goblet cells, which are in the conjunctiva, that produce mucin. Without this mucin, the tears are unstable, and that causes them to evaporate more quickly. It also affects the lacrimal gland, causing a reduction in tear production, leading to more dry and irritated eyes. Plus, it clogs the meibomian glands in our eyelids that help to slow down the evaporation of our tears. So without this layer, the tears dry out a lot faster. To make matters worse, it can affect the corneal nerves. With corneal nerve damage, there's a interruption of this feedback loop between the eye and the brain to create more tears. So it actually causes a reduced blink rate and reduced tear reflex. It also reduces the cornea's ability to heal properly. The fix? Proper blood sugar control, lifestyle changes like regular exercise or adjusting the diet, and especially important to see an eye care provider regularly. Not just to monitor for diabetic retinopathy, which is another big complication that can happen in diabetes, but also to track for dry eye and to treat it sooner rather than later. Dry eye is a vicious cycle. There's inflammation that leads to damage to the ocular surface, which leads to more dryness, which leads to more inflammation, and it just keeps on going. So it's best to nip this cycle in the bud with early diagnosis and early and consistent treatment. You don't wanna wait until it's too late when the eyes have changed in a permanent way that the dry eye becomes much more difficult to treat and requires more intensive treatments. Stay ahead of dry eye and subscribe for more eye health tips.